Welcome to episode 16, celebrating works by Mirabai and William Shakespeare. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in. We're celebrating National Poetry Month each day this April, featuring audiobook selections from the 1989 Anthology of Sacred Poetry, edited by Stephen Mitchell, The Enlightened Heart. Throughout the month, you'll be treated to ecstatic poetry from around the world, across various cultures and religions, spanning 25 centuries of spiritual thought. Today is April 16th, 2022. Mirabai was a 16th century Hindu mystic poet who left a life of royalty to become a wandering devotee of Krishna. Here are three of her poems, translated by Robert Bly and Jane Hirschfield. Mirabai Read by Jane Hirschfield. Why Mira can't go back to her old house. The colors of the dark one have penetrated Mira's body, all the other colors washed out. Making love with the dark one and eating little, those are my pearls and my carnelians. Meditation beads and the forehead streak. Those are my scarves and my rings. That's enough feminine wiles for me. My teacher taught me this. Approve me or disapprove me. I praise the mountain energy night and day. I take the path that ecstatic human beings have taken for centuries. I don't steal money. I don't hit anyone. What will you charge me with? I have felt the swaying of the elephant's shoulders. And now you want me to climb on a jackass? Try to be serious. The Clouds When I saw the dark clouds, I wept. O dark one, I wept at the dark clouds. Black clouds soared up and took some yellow along. Rain did fall, some rain fell long. There was water east of the house, west of the house, fields all green. The one I love lives past those fields. Rain has fallen on my body, on my hair, as I wait in the open door for him. The energy that holds up mountains is the energy Mirabai bows down to. He lives century after century, and the test I set for him he has passed. O oh, my friends, what can you tell me of love, whose pathways are filled with strangeness? When you offer the Great One your love, at the first step your body is crushed. Next, be ready to offer your head as his seat. Be ready to orbit his lamp like a moth giving in to the light, to live in the deer as she runs towards the hunter's call, in the partridge that swallows hot coals for love of the moon, in the fish that, kept from the sea, happily dies. Like a bee trapped for life in the closing of the sweet flower, Mira has offered herself to her lord. She says, the single lotus will swallow you whole. We are such stuff as dreams are made on. English poet and playwright William Shakespeare writes in this poem from The Tempest. William Shakespeare, read by Peter Coyote. Be cheerful, sir. Our revels now are ended. These our actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits and are melted into air into thin air, and like the baseless fabric of this vision, 
the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself, yea, all which it inherit, shall dissolve, and, like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in.